Brentham's police chief is reminding people not to move things that they may think is an explosive following an incident over the weekend. Now, Chief Bill McGrath posted on the department's Facebook page that a person brought a briefcase full of homemade fireworks to the police station last night. Chief says the person found them while cleaning out the home of a family member who recently died. Bomb squad was called in to safely dispose of the explosives. The chief says despite the person's good intentions, the safest course of action is to call 911. We're getting a better look than ever before at historic submarine wrecks in Rhode Island's waters. And it's thanks to some new technology. TJ Del Santo tells us about it, new at six. A German U-boat is one of the subs imaged by the technology and the imagery shows most of the wrecks to be in pretty good shape. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration wanted to test new technology for producing high-resolution images of the sea floor, and they tested it here in Rhode Island on sunken submarines last summer. One sub is located in 90 feet of water here off Taylor Point in Jamestown. It's just a debris field now, but in 1913, the G1 sub conducted the deepest dive of any U.S. sub at the time. After its decommission, it was used for target practice. A German U-boat lies about nine miles south of Point Judith. The U-853 was involved in the Battle of Point Judith in 1945. The new images show the U-boat remarkably intact, but with a ruptured hull. A vessel which the U-853 sunk, the Black Point, was also imaged by the technology, and it rests off Point Judith upside down. Quite a bit is left of another sub near the mouth of Narragansett Bay. The L-8 was used in a secret Navy research program which had torpedoes detonate underneath subs. The L-8 was a test target for those torpedoes in 1926. The technology used to image the subs uses multiple pulses of sound to collect three-dimensional and high-resolution seabed imagery, 30 times more detailed than standard imagery, which makes studying the vessels easier. The USS Bass, which is south of Block Island, has not been imaged yet. The subs could potentially be put on the National Register of Historic Places. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.